This microphone, the Lawton Audio LS208, is making me question why I would ever pull out my SM7B again, which is interesting considering this is a condenser mic. Though it is more like a condenser mic that is cosplaying as dynamic. It retails for just under 600 bucks and comes with a very expensive toiletries case. Ooh, toiletries. Ooh. This thing is exceptionally well built. Kind of a cross between a broadcast style mic and a handheld, this thing is all class. One interesting feature is that it is an end address mic, unlike almost every other condenser mic that is side address. And you can see that little capsule poking through right here. The grill is super sturdy, and the only other thing on the body worth mentioning is the high and low pass switches. They are nice and tactile, so you won't accidentally throw them. Now, on the high pass side, you have selections for 50 hertz and 120 hertz. On the low pass side, you have a roll off at 8 kilohertz and one at 10 kilohertz. Now, another microphone that is tuned for instrumentation, but that also works brilliantly for broadcast situations as well. As for the mounts, you get two in the toiletries case. Now, this hard mount is all metal design, and I think there should be a law that all manufacturers should release with a tightening bolt like this one. So much easier to manipulate on the fly. And of course, you do get a shock mount, which is also quite nice. Again, it's an all-metal design and a welcome silhouette that doesn't dominate your personal space like some. I do like the broadcasty style yoke design as well, so maybe that's just me. And finally, it does come with this clown nose, which is a rather necessary kind of prop when using this thing for any voice work. Again, the capsule is literally right there. And unlike the dynamic counterparts, there's literally nothing between your pop peas and that capsule. So you're going to want this on for not only that, but to keep your capsule nice and clean. This thing is a cardioid condenser microphone. The capsule is one and a quarter inches, quite a bit bigger than the standard one inch. It's 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, has a whopping 135 dB of max SPL, sensitivity of neg 46 dBV per Pascal, and a self noise of 15 dBA weighted. Now for the off-axis rejection of the LS208, and yes, I'm keeping the clown nose on because, you know, safety first when it comes to capsules. This is me speaking about three inches off the front of the capsule. Now I'm speaking about three inches off the side of the capsule. And now I'm speaking into the rear of the capsule like a complete idiot. Now for the plosive rejection test of the LS208. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Now for the proximity effect test of the LS208. This is me speaking about three inches off the front of the capsule. Now I'm directly on top of the capsule. Three inches right on top. This is the 50 hertz high pass filter on the Lawton Audio LS208. And this is what it sounds like compared to it not being on. Now we have the 120 high pass filter on the LS208. You're gonna notice this one might be impacting my voice just a little bit. It's taking off a little bit more of that low end than the 50 hertz and it might be cutting into some of the chestiness of my voice. First off, this is the 10 kilohertz roll off. So this is all the airy frequencies. And this could be really helpful if you're recording something that is a little shrill or might have a little bit more aggressive high end that you kind of want to roll off. This allows you to do it. And now we have the eight kilohertz roll off and you are going to notice a whole bunch different with my voice when this is on. And this once again is going to be more of an instrumentation thing, but just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. And for those that are curious, this is both the low pass at 10 kilohertz and the high pass at 160 hertz. And this is what it sounds like with them both rolled off. Okay, now we have the LS208 up against the SM7B. Both are placed equal distance to my mouth compared to where their capsules are. This one's a condenser, this one's a dynamic. And this should give you a pretty decent idea of the differential in sound as I go between them. Now, this is kind of a condenser masquerading as a dynamic. And the background rejection on this mic is actually pretty decent, as we'll see in the bathroom test. And it's comparable, if not a little bit better than the SM7B, which is one of the reasons why this thing really sticks out to me. Anyways, this is the LS208. This is the SM7B. Which one do you like? Now we're in my bathroom and I've got the SM7B here hooked up to my Zoom H8. Now we have the Lawton Audio LS208 inside the bathroom at approximately the same distance from my mouth at about the same angle. And this is testing out uh, the 
kind of room rejection that you get from these microphones. Now I'm standing with the worst part behind me. This is all of the tile behind me, a really hard surface. This is why bathrooms have a lot of reverb. And this is what the SM7B sounds like. This is what it sounds like. Room rejection, as I go back and forth, which one do you like better? The LS208 or the SM7B? Or are they comparable? Now for the toilet flushing test. Time for the toilet test with the LS208. Andrew doesn't do this test, does he? Huh? First and foremost, when you're looking at pros, you have to respect the versatility of this microphone. This thing performs great on a lot of stuff. And by the way, this mic is also fantastic for drums. Not sure which video is coming out first, but we mic a set of drums with a lot of mics and the results are fantastic. Watch for that video. This thing is an awesome snare mic. That low sensitivity can be utilized in several different scenarios and combined with the rather high SPL, you end up with a mic that can go from an untreated kitchen to a snare without missing a beat. And to add to that high and low pass, you have a mic that you will find in use more often than it's on your shelf. As for the cons, and I can really only think of one, which is kind of situational. The low sensitivity might be an issue for some. If you're relying on lower cost preamps, you can push this mic, but you might be getting into the range of hearing that noise from those preamps. So if you're looking for a single use mic and that use is mainly for spoken words, you might find this microphone a bit cost prohibitive. That said, if you need a jack of all trades mic that can be utilized in multiple situations and applications, uh, that price tag's looking a lot more acceptable. And if you have an actual studio, well then that price looks like more of a steal than anything. These are the mics that a lot of producers and musicians are always on the lookout for, like the SM57 or the 58. All around mics, that are never put away. So if you are in either one of those two latter categories, yes, I would say you should give the Lawton Audio LS208 a chance. I'll be curious to see what instruments this thing could conquer. Cheers, and thanks for watching.